I'm going to lay out the blueprint for being an incredible Sylveon player. We're going to go through and learn every single skill, every single build, so you know how to play into each matchup. Because Sylveon is going to be an S plus tier Pokemon when draft comes to ranked. So without wasting any time, let's look at the builds. Mystical Fire Sylveon, Muscle Band, Focus Band, Potion, and the third item is Flex. I like the Slick Spoon. In the Hyper Voice build, you go Specs, Wise Glasses, and Anti-Healing. You've got to run an X Speed. So without wasting any time, let's understand how to use both of these builds in depth and how to counterplay your opponents. And everything will be timestamped in the video, so if you get some value or you want to skip between each spot, please do so and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, enjoy, get good with Sylveon. So let's talk about Sylveon here, and I'm going to briefly go over the early game with what differentiates Eevee from Sylveon. So you'll see in the bottom right corner, you've got your passive ability there. This is called adaptability. Each time it stacks, you're going to be increasing your special attack by 5%. That's all it does there, right? That's just the passive ability. So if we evolve ourselves into a Sylveon, I'm going to go to level six here, right? The first move set I'm going to talk through is Mystical Fire and Draining Kiss. Now, the first thing we're going to talk over is this passive ability and the boosted auto. You'll see this counts up to six times. This is different to adaptability because this is called pixelate and it increases your special attack and your special defense by two and a half percent. So you're going to have an increase of 15% on your special attack and your special defense when this ability is active and maxed out. That's really, really nice, right? Now it's not just autos, it's each time you launch one of these mystical fires off. So if you're using this ability set, you're gonna have this um, ability on cooldown. Right, the other thing is this boosted auto. You'll see, launch off the boosted auto and increased uh, movement speed, right? So you get a lot of mobility there with a Sylveon when you launch off this boosted basic, right? It's really, really good mobility. So the first skill is Mystical Fire. Mystical Fire is a dash. Now these fires, you'll see there's four around you. They will automatically hit one of the enemies closest to you. And if there's no enemies around, then those flames will redirect back to the farm. That's pretty cool. Now, what it also does is each time it hits the enemy, it will decrease their special attack by 15% for a second, and it stacks up to four times. So you can potentially decrease the enemy special attack by 60% at a crucial moment in a fight. So if you combine this with your passive ability, which increases your special defense, Mystical Fire Sylveon is an absolute menace at taking on your other mages and your other special attackers, right? Like a Petal Dance Venusaur, a Rapid Spin, um, Water Spout, um, Blastoise, right? It neutralizes the damage and you're able to tank against it really, really well. What happens when you get this move to level 10, right? You get the plus version of it. And all this is gonna do is now you've got five flames, right? So what that means is, is that you're going to be debuffing the special attack of the enemy by 75% now instead of 60%. So that's really, really nice. Um, the other thing you might have noticed what's happening to the cooldown of uh, Mystical Fire is that the cooldown is being reduced pretty rapidly for each time the flame hits, right? The flame hits and it's reducing the cooldown. So each time the flame is hitting an enemy or a piece of farm, it's reducing the remaining cooldown by 15%, which is really nice. So if you combine this at level 10 with a blue buff, like here, right? You combine this with a blue buff. Look at, look at what we can do here, right? I'll just wait for it to go on cooldown. So we launch off one, two, three, four, five. It's almost on cooldown instantly, right? One, two, three, four, five. And it's pretty much almost ready to go um, straight away. So Sylveon is good to have a blue buff on, but just keep in mind there might be other Pokemon where it's more valuable to have a blue buff. Now, the final thing with Mystical Fire is that you don't just launch this off and stand still or move around. You want to be constantly auto attacking because while these Mystical Fires are going off, you can see that I'm still auto attacking. So you can get that additional damage, right? If we have a look at the test dummy here, look at how much damage is just racking up from the basics because you're dashing around and making sure you're just holding A, right? Those Mystical Fires will go off by themselves, but you're going to be racking up a whole bunch of damage if you keep the auto attacks up. Now, the other skill here is Draining Kiss. It's fairly straightforward. You, uh, you, it, It's a sure hit. So you lock onto the enemy and it will hit them three times. See, three hearts next to your name and you will recover some HP dependent on the damage you dealt. So it's really, really good at sustain. Once you get this move to level 12, when you get this move to level 12, it's gonna increase the amount of HP that you're going to be healing from each of those ticks of heals, right? So it's really, really nice. 
Okay, so a couple combos we can do with uh, the, this move set here, right, is I'm going to have the blue buff, and I just want to show this with the Unite move, and I'll explain the Unite move after. So, uh, as you can see here, you can launch off your Unite move with the blue buff, and then you can use your Mystical Fire, and it's pretty much on cooldown instantly. So you just holding your Mystical Fire, spamming those skills, and that is just going on cooldown pretty much immediately, right, every single time, because you get increased cooldown reduction, by using the Unite move. Now, let's talk about the Unite move just very briefly with Sylveon. You'll see you jump into the air and you do a bunch of damage in that AoE, right? It's it's a fairly decent amount of damage, right? It does 1,500 on landing, which isn't really the main purpose of using it, but it, it's nice to know that it does quite a decent chunk of damage. It's when you jump up into the air, you're invincible, right? So you don't even take damage, right? You can't get CC, you don't take damage. So you can dodge other Pokemon's Unite moves, like a Blastoise, if you anticipate it, you can jump up into the air. Um, but the main utility of this Unite move is that for every bit of damage you deal, you're going to recover 50% of that damage. So let's say you jump up here, you can see right here, underneath your HP bar, you've got this like kind of bar that's loading. That is 10 seconds of potential time where you're going to be dealing damage and you recover 50% of the damage dealt. So it's like 50% life ban which is just crazy right it's so so good so this move set is very good at brawling it's very good at taking on other enemies especially if they are special attackers now the other move set that we use is hyper voice and calm mind hyper voice you'll see there's a like kind of close tick and a far tick so if i do this at level eight look at the amount of damage it does there 2500 right if i stand close range here to the farm i'm going to be doing 1500. So if you want to optimize your damage output by using a hyper voice, you need to be hitting those enemies from that far tick there. It's beyond that little mini pokeball in your skill range there, right? Now, every time you hit an enemy, you're going to be putting, I guess, a sound wave tick on them, and that reduces their special defense by 20%. So this is really good at ripping tanks if you've got another Pokemon on your team who's a special attacker. Is this hyper voice? It's static, so you just move around, right? You click it, and you don't get to re-aim that skill. It's just you launch it off, and then you move yourself around, right? So it's it's quite nice there, right? It does, and you'll see it does six ticks of damage. So one, two, three, four, five, six, right? When you level up to level ten, it does seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ticks of damage, right? So it's it's pretty good, right? It, it it's it's honestly it's amazing. Right, so you can spe uh, you can decrease the enemy's special defense by up to 80% because you just land four ticks. It's capped at 80%. It doesn't let you do 100% debuff, right? Otherwise, you'd be doing true damage. But it's just incredibly good at ripping down those tanks. Uh, the other skill I want to talk about here is Calm Mind. When you click it, you'll see you get some movement speed increase, um, but it also increases your special attack and your special defense by 10%. So I'll just turn on stats in the corner here. You can see my special defense is 142. Now it goes up to 156, right? You get a, it's about plus 14, right? 10%. There. So that's pretty nice to know. You get a uh, special attack and special defense increase, um, which means that you, you've got more mobility when you're moving around with this hyper voice there, um, and you're going to be doing additional damage. When you get this skill to level uh, 12, right? You get the plus version of it. You're going to be able to block a... Uh, like an instant of damage, right? And then after you block that instant of damage, you actually get a shield, right? And it's quite a decent shield too. So you're not going to block CC or anything like that. But if the enemy launch it, like a, if, if you get hit by a wicked blow, it will negate that damage that comes onto you. And then you'll get a shield, right? But you, you, you don't want to make sure you don't get ticked by like a little instant of damage, right? Um, and auto attacks are not blocked, right? So if a Cinderace is just hitting you, A pressing you, it's not going to block any of that damage there. It's just, it's like a, it's one skill that it can block. Now that's handy to know because I just don't think a lot of people actually um, know that, right? So our combo here, right, is that if we take our blue buff with this Pokemon, and I'm going to turn these cooldowns uh, back on, is Unite move here, and then you can see how quickly this Hyper Voice is going to get back on cooldown. Right? It's, it's ready to go. It's immediate, right? You're just spamming this, right? Hyper Voice and um, Calm Mind, right? Over and over and over. And you're dishing out a lot of damage, so you're going to be healing so much of that damage as well.
Now let's consider your team composition for what build you should be playing. In this game, I can see I don't have another special attacker on my team, so we're probably not gonna get the great value out of Hyper Voice. And we've also got those portals to go back in, so I think the Mystical Fire Draining Kiss moveset is the way to go. And this will be even better in Draft because you'll be able to see the enemy team composition. Like here, I can see I'm up against a Ninetales and a Blissey. So maybe it might have been um, better to run Hyper Voice because they've got um, two big tanks and I can kite the Buzzwell. Um, however, Mystical Fire is still going to be a good moveset into this team composition. Now the Hyper Voice and Calm Mind moveset will have more of a mage kind of, um, you know, play style. However, I think some people get a little bit confused with the Mystical Fire and Draining Kiss combination. So I want to talk through this macro. You want to take him to the top lane if you're running Mystical Fire and Draining Kiss because this is more of a brawler carry build rather than a backline or midline mage and supporting the team in that aspect. Now your top priority is to get level four. Right now you can see here I'm using my skills when they are on cooldown. Unfortunately, I've been out secured by the enemy Wigglytuff. So we haven't quite hit level four, um, you know, by that nine minute ish mark, um, but we should be able to get this top bow tour here to evolve to level four by the bees, right? That's if you've hit level four by these bees, generally you're going to be considered uh, fairly successful. So you go mystical fire and remember this move gives you a lot of mobility. It's very, very good strong and it does a lot of debuffing. So our team is in a very um, good position here. The jungle has come up and you can see we're just dashing and we're making sure we can get some kills. Now this is where you can really steamroll with Sylveon. If you get ahead early, you can see I walk into this bush and then I look to invade. That way the enemy doesn't see me on their minimap as invading. Now our bottom team, uh, our bottom lane is actually winning, right? They actually won the 3v2. So that's that's really rare, that doesn't happen often, but it is your role to punish and maintain this lead over the enemy. So I've taken the blue buff off them and I know their jungler has died in this bottom lane. So I'm just playing in a way where he's gonna get caught out, right? If they go to their buff here, they're gonna get caught out. But I actually noticed that the enemy jungler goes to their lane, right? It's the Blaziken and he goes back to the bottom lane and dies to the Trevenant again. So. It, I kind of actually wasted a little bit of time there. I could have just taken that. But again, you just play as safe as you can, right? So we're level seven. Our jungle is level seven as well. And our Blastoise has done some pretty decent things by playing defensively in the top lane, right? So you're suffocating the enemy if you get this early lead, right? That's how you want to play this character. And I know I can run head on to these guys here. They're special attackers. I've got my ability Pixelate, which is going to give me plus um, special defense and plus special attack, and I'm gonna be lowering the enemy's um, special attack as well. So I can, I'm happily going head on against them, and you can see how much more damage the Blaziken does to me there, um, because he's hitting me with physical, physical attack, and I don't have that active debuff with the ability and with mystical fire. So you wanna pick your fights, pick your battles, right? And this is where you're gonna be very, very good taking this Pokemon into draft, right? Because generally with the physical hitters, you're gonna be able to kite them, um, with Hyper Voice, right, if, if you can play it well enough. So now at this point in the game, it's it's kind of like a forfeit at five angle for the enemy, right? You can see how much value we're getting here. Um, we're, we're able to take on like a 2v1, 3v1, right? You can see how much healing I'm getting from the damage that I'm doing. I've got so much cooldown reduction I'm with that Unite move there. And we're just maintaining the lead, right? Our team's one bottom lane um, with one top lane and we're suffocating the enemy jungle. So we're taking all of their farm Right, the farm that's available to them is, is their back in DDs and, and the bow toys, right? If we take their buffs, which is a large amount of um, experience, we're just suffocating so much. So you can do this when you play a character like Sylveon. Like you've got the mobility to be able to get in and out of bad situations and you can afford to play fairly risky there, right? And we know this farm spawns exactly 90 seconds after we KO it. So all of this middle farms up and we've got our own buff. So um, at this point, I'm kind of pinging, you know, back out to our team. I want to re-farm um, my Unite move there so we can get some successful engages. But it looks like, you know, our team's doing pretty well. Our Buzzsaw's playing very aggressively. So we go up to pick off that supporter and... Um, yeah, look, the game's looking, it's looking pretty strong here. And at this point, it's like, it's its up to me to throw the game from here, right? See, again, you've got the mobility with Mystical Fire, you've got the potion, healing, right? You've got so much sustain. If I was any other character there, like, I think I would have been in trouble. And it's crazy that, that an attacker can have this much mobility, right? And the Unite move does so much healing when you get those combos off as well. 
So I, I go back in here. I know that this Alteria is back up. I'm going to just quickly um, heal off it with the Draining Kiss and, um, you know, get, get some passive healing right when you KO it. And then I know that the enemy buffs are back. I'm literally just taking the enemy buffs on their rotation there. Right, that, that's what I'm looking to do because I've got the mobility to get in and out and survive through their uh, middle area, and I know I've got my unite move here, so we we're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to push right. You can keep yourself safe, and then I re-engage and I can push in their flux zone here, right? And they're just in so much trouble because you can dash in and around. You can just do so much work there. The enemy's under so much pressure. And notice I'm not playing silly. I'm not over committing. I'm putting myself in position where it's hard for the enemy to hit me. And at this fight, their team is, yeah, they get aced. The Reggie walks in and um, they're kind of over it. They just quit. They're like, no, thank you, right? But Sylveon is a Pokemon that you can really punish enemies with. Yes, my team was incredible. Yes, the enemy team probably got a little bit diff there. Um, but, you know, that's... That's what that Pokemon is capable of doing if you're able to pull it off. Do I do this every game? No, it's kind of just a one-off here, right? And you can see the damage numbers, right? So we're well ahead, very good, but it's more the macro gameplay. And you should be racking up a lot of damage dealt, a lot of damage taken, and a lot of healing. So the damage numbers will look more impressive than they are, but remember this needs to be reflective of successful kill involvement. If you're getting a lot of damage dealt, a lot of damage taken, but you're not getting successful kill involvement, so I get 16 kill involvements, then that's not very good.